Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuits analysis solve the problem number 10. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4 along with one independent voltage source Vs. Additionally, we can observe the presence of dependent sources, especially a current controlled current source, a voltage controlled voltage source and a current controlled voltage source. The question now is to find the current Ix and the voltage Vx using mesh analysis. The current Ix is the current through the resistor R4 and the current and the voltage Vx is the voltage across the resistor R2. Let's move on to the solution. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are four meshes. This is mesh 1, mesh 2, mesh 3 and mesh 4. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network and I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2, I3 is the current in mesh 3 and I4 is the current in mesh 4. Let's start first with mesh 1. We can see here in mesh 1 that I1 is equal to 2Ix and here we can see that Ix is equal to I3. That means that I1 is equal to 2Ix is equal to 2I3. And according to Ohm's law, we see that Vx is equal to R2 multiplying by I2 minus I3 is equal to 10I2 minus I3. Let's move on to mesh 2. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 2, we can write negative v, uh, 10 v, Vx plus R1 I2 minus I1 plus R2 I2 minus I3 plus R3 I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain negative 10 Vx plus 10 I2 minus I1 plus 10 I2 minus I3 plus 10 I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative Vx plus I2 minus I1 plus I2 minus I3 plus I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. By substituting now equation 2 in 3, we obtain negative 10 I2 minus I3 plus I2 minus I1 plus I2 minus I3 plus I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. And if we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain finally negative 7 I2 plus 9 I3 minus I1 minus I4 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to mesh 3. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 3, we can write R2 I3 minus I1 plus R4 I3 plus Vs is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain finally 2 I3 minus I2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to mesh 4. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in, much, in, in mesh 4, we can write R3 I4 minus I1 minus Vs plus 10 Ix is equal to 0. And by replacing the resistor and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain finally I4 minus I2 minus 1 plus I3 is equal to 0. After we finish applying the mesh analysis, we obtain a set of equations. In this case, we have, we, we have four equations with four unknowns. Let's start first by equation 5. From equation 5, we can write I2 is equal to 2I3 plus I1. And here I expressed I2 in terms of uh, I3. Let's move on to equation 4. From equation 4, we can write I4 is equal to negative 7I2 plus 9I3 minus I1. And by substituting 
A and 1 in B, we obtain finally I4 in terms of I3. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain I4 is equal to negative 7 I3 minus 7, and I will call this equation C. Let's move on now. By substituting A and, uh, and C in, in equation 6, we obtain or we derive one equation in terms of I3. And if we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 8 I3 minus 9 is equal to 0. That means I3 is equal to negative 9 over 8 is equal to negative 1.125 amps. And we know that Ix is equal to I3. That means Ix is equal to negative 1.125 amps. We go now to equation A. We have I2 is equal to I3 plus 1. And if we replace I3 with its value here, we can obtain I2 is equal to negative 125 amps. And from equation C, we have I4 is equal to negative 7 I3 minus 7. If we replace I3 with its value here, we obtain I4 is equal to 1.75 amps. And from equation 1, we have I1 is equal to 2Ix is equal to 2I3. That means I1 is equal to 2 multiplying by negative 1.125 amps, we get I1 is equal to negative 2.25 amps. And from equation 2, or according to Ohm's law, we have Vx is equal to R2 I2 minus I3. And if we replace I2 and I3 with their numerical values, we obtain Vx is equal to negative 1.25 volt. After completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our result. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is our network drone in SPICE simulator. This is, is the resistor R1, R2, R3 and R4, the independent voltage source Vs, and this is, is the current control, current source, the voltage controlled voltage source, and current controlled voltage source. I connect here a voltmeter to measure the, the voltage Vx is the voltage across the resistor R2, and here to measure the current Ix. Let's move on to analysis. DC analysis, calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that uh, Ix is, is equal to negative 1.13 amps and Vx is equal to negative 1.25 volt. They are exactly the same value we have done or similar to the value we have done by calculation. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye bye.